Our time of confession and assurance both come out of Psalm 86 this morning. Let us hear what God has to say to us in the first portion of that reading. Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord. For I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord. For I put my trust in you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that you are our Lord and our Savior. You are our God. Lord, we do put our trust in you. At the same time, O oh God, we confess that sometimes we really struggle to trust in you. Not, not because we think that you are not trustworthy, but our own doubts, our own weaknesses, our own worry assail us. And we are so often feeling lost in this world. Lord, regardless of our financial status or, or whatever, we are all poor and needy. We need you, O oh God. We need you hour by hour, minute by minute, and day by day. And God, for those who are indeed uh, less financially well off or less, um, you know, societally well off or whatever, O oh God, we pray for them especially too. We confess, O oh God, that sometimes we do not look upon compassion with those, we do not look with compassion upon those who are not doing as well. Father, please forgive us for our greed and selfishness. Forgive us for that self-centeredness and forgive us for our doubts and worries too, oh God. Please, Please guard our lives and bring joy to your servants, O oh God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our words of assurance are also from Psalm 86, verses 1 to 7. And the second part of that reading goes like this. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call on you. Hear our prayers, Lord. Listen to our cries for mercy. When we are in distress, we call to you because you answer us. The Lord our God answers us, and he is faithful and worthy of all of our trust and praise and honor and all the glory that can be given to him. Let us continue to praise him together.